Hello world. Hello YouTube. I got my camera down here and my face up here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. That's a fella. Right. Okay, so I just got on Facebook and you know you mean I usually don't get political and this and that. But uh, first and foremost the presidential election, right? In no way, shape or form at all in any there's just nothing, nothing that can be that will convince me that Biden won. You know, it was just so incredibly nuts. And let me tell you what, I don't have a dog in this game, excuse me. It's early in the morning and that's why it's dark. It's about 6.30. I don't sleep in the mornings anymore. You know, I get up and all this floods in my head and, go, you know, you get it. Anyway, I don't have a dog in this race. I wouldn't vote for Trump, and I wouldn't vote for uh, Biden. So it's not me a some sore loser thing, in no way, shape, or form. Like I said, Trump. Uh, I don't like him, but not for the reasons the general public didn't like him. And as far as I'm concerned, what this country did to that man was absolutely appalling and we should be absolute and completely and utterly and totally ashamed of ourselves as a country as to how we treated that man. He meant nothing but right for us and I believe that. The reason I don't like him is there was this video or a documentary about him, right? Where he did the employee things. He went down to his hotel and did the, you know, the maid, the bell, all that, right? Well, the way he treated those people, that did it. I, you know, the maid, you know, he says, oh, I don't have to clean the toilet, right? And he says, oh, no, and I'm like, what? You want to do clean that toilet? I don't want a president, don't, you know, won't get down and clean the toilet. I don't, you know, clean the toilet and push the button. You should be able to do either way, <laughs> right? That aside. The other one was the bellhop, the luggage guy. He just absolutely disgraced the man's uniform that Donald Trump required him to wear at his job site, and yet Donald Trump doing that man's job wouldn't wear it. He just buttoned the top button. It was just rude as hell. He treated that guy like crap. He just doesn't like poor people. I'm sorry, he just doesn't. And that's my opinion of him. He, just, he is doing a good job, but for the really kind of the wrong people. Because I haven't seen a damn thing different down here years before. I haven't seen it really for decades, so I can't. And that's the whole story for another video. Anyway, so I don't like either one. And Biden's just a dolt. And he's, I don't know where they dug him up and why he is still where he is. Along with a couple, three other members of our government. And there's another thing, don't think I don't, I'm like an anti-government, no, I like it. Our form of government is the best made, period. It's the people in it that mess it up. Now, another point is, you guys got to remember, and I want you to look something up. Boss Tweed, okay? The reason we vote for these two morons is because that's who the powers that be picked for us to vote. The same thing is happening in uh, Hong Kong. The reason they're protesting is because the Chinese government picked these two people the voters will vote for. That's it. Here's what you vote and that's it. They don't pick for the population. No, we don't either. Don't think we do. We don't sit there and go, randomly go over there and just think, hey, I want to do it, yeah, I can do a better job than that somebody. That don't happen here. The same thing happened here that happens in China. You get boss tweeted. He says, I don't care who votes, I just care who they're voting for. And they're going to vote for the people I put there for them to vote for. That's what this country does. Period. So, sh shelf all that blah blah, you know, him and that. You're getting screwed. You're getting screwed. Okay, they put a person that you will hate so they can get the person and so you look like you're actually doing something. This is what's going on, okay? You don't know that, and you, you're late. Anyway, 
That's the deal. And then with all the cheating and all that, and then after the last election with Hillary, you're going to tell me that this is a bona fide result of what actually we actually voted for? No way. No way. And even then, I didn't want to vote for... I voted my party. This year, I didn't vote. You can forget I'm not going to participate in that loony system. It's not a system. It's a process. We're being processed like cows at the slaughterhouse. That's what's going on. So, whatever. I don't believe the results of this. And then to have it just neely bleedly, you know, oh, just a much, just over, you know, one by a nose for days. He kept rising, yet all the votes for him just kept rising, yet Trump got nothing. We're fucked. Oh, excuse me, I didn't want to put that in there. Anyway, we ain't voting for the people we want to vote for. You gotta be an idiot if you think you're doing that. And like I said, I don't like neither one of them. I vote my party. I will not. I will not. My vote is to not vote for them. Okay? And we can do that. Now, you know what I'd like to say? On the ballot, you know, a lot of them don't have none of the above. Can you imagine if all of us, if none of the above won? Why isn't there something that says, screw these guys? No, I don't like them. Let's just start over. They suck. And they do. Now, this election, since they're so close neck and neck, I think they should both be presidents. <laughs> right? If you tout the two-party system, how much more perfect if these two people, right? We never get anything done. We go down the crapper because one's a kook and one's an a a hole. <laughs> right? But we're not voting for these people we want to vote for. And this, oh, by the way, is not a two-party system. Anyone off the street, wherever they come from, they're American citizens, meet the requirements that are required by law, they can run for president. It's not a two-party system. They got you fooled into that so they can keep their phony baloney jobs. Quote, end quote, of, what is it, Le Petamane? <laughs> Remember that movie? Yeah. That's who we got, is blah blah J. Le Petamane. <laughs> That's from Blazing Saddles. I in no way on the rights. I ain't making no money off of, you know, you should watch that movie, and that's it. All right, anyway, no way do I believe this election is up. No, it's so kooky, and then the bleed, and then the, and, and then after all the last two or three, forget it, forget it. They cheat like, oh, man. And then to be putting who we don't want anyway. Can you imagine that? <laughs> People. Rise up, reclaim your vote, because you don't have it anymore. All right, live by your wits, live by your worries. Peace. Bye. People, this is terrible.